Hey, y'all, it's... Yeah, uh... There's something unique about being a kid. Learning your name, exploring the great outdoors, and making friends you'll take through life with you. Experiencing a little bit of freedom, a child is in wonder. But when they fall down, they learn to pick themselves back up. Instead of hiding from their fears, they learn to counter them and show them who's boss. Show them who's the little boss. (laughs) We know we are children of the Most High. While our problems seem bigger than a lost toy or a scraped knee, they amount to the same struggle. All over the world, there are people suffering. And it may seem at times that panic reigns in the air. This season is revealing just how fragile the human heart can really be. Whether it's infection, loss of a loved one, or a standstill in life, everyone is going through hardships of their own. As we grow up, it becomes harder and harder to see less than the big picture. That sounds kind of backwards, but it's true. To stop and focus on the circumstances at hand, to be present in the situations we find ourselves in. Why does it turn into such a struggle? Well, most of us find ourselves in a race against time, against ourselves, against the world. A friend of mine introduced me to the Instagram drawings of a little six-year-old girl. I loved them, and they conveyed sweet, significant messages through enchanting crayon drawings. It was so cute. In my friend's words, her simplicity is precious. Through the eyes of a kid, that's what life is. Simple. And it continues to be so, even when we begin to filter it all when difficulties come. People are stressed, tired, and drained. Sometimes even looking out for others and loving them can become an energy vacuum. Where there were once adventure and ambition, there is now deadlines and disappointment. There's a simple way to fix this problem, but it's often hiding in plain sight. Today, my eight-year-old sister prayed over our lunch, and this is what she said. Thank you, God, for everything you've created. Thank you that we have food. Thank you that we have a home, that we have water, and that we can rest as a family. Please heal everyone who's sick. For Italy and China, And please save the turtles. Amen. Children have hopes and dreams and a spirit for wild, wonderful adventure. They love the light. To them, the sun is a marvelous gift. Instead of living in the darkness, caught up in the trap of life's complications, let's strive to live. Let's strive to have the faith of children to embrace the light and thank the Creator for the blessings He's given us. We have to let go of all our anxiety and worry and fear of the future, reaching for heaven with two arms open wide. The perfect love Christ has for us isn't fleeting. It doesn't disappear when the sun goes down. Being in the life we've been given means living like a child, even when all seems lost in the night.